There are two things that babies love, swaddling and swinging. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM. The swing pod from Kidco combines both of those things to help parents calm a fussy baby from ages birth to six months. It's a portable swaddle swing that parents hold in one hand and manually swing back and forth. You simply lay the swing pod on the floor and place the baby in the center, making sure his head is well within the flap at the top of the swing pod. Wrap the swaddle strap across the chest and arms of the baby and secure with a Velcro strip. Put the two straps together at the handle and gently lift up, making sure the baby is securely held. With a straight arm at your side, slowly begin swinging the baby back and forth. Just make sure there's three feet of open space around the child when you're using it. As with many baby products, there are going to be parents who love the swing pod and there are going to be parents who find it unnecessary. The parents who like it will do so because it's portable. When you're on the go, you can't bring the baby swing or the rocking chair with you, but you can easily fold up the swing pod and put it in a diaper bag or suitcase. And for parents who have babies that don't like being in a baby swing or a baby carrier, the swing pod could be a nice alternative for use even at home. On the other hand, some parents might think that swinging a 7 to 19 pound baby with just one arm is going to be tiring. Others might wonder what you do after the baby falls asleep in the swing pod. You can't put the baby in the crib while still in the swing pod, but do you really want to risk waking the baby by undoing the Velcro strap with a loud ripping noise? Parents with a baby who would continue to sleep through that, consider yourself lucky. Some parents who have used this said they simply place the sleeping baby on the floor in the swing pod, but just know that you can't leave the child unattended while she sleeps in the swing pod. And still others might be concerned about the security of the baby within the swing pod. TTPM wasn't able to test the swing pod with a real baby, but we think that with proper use, the security of the baby shouldn't be a problem. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to this product, and parents are going to have to make their own decision as to whether or not the swing pod could be a useful addition to their baby gear supply. For where to buy and current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more reviews every day.